off the deep end. <coughs> I got nowhere to go. Anyway, but here she is. Think of Ruth. Look at the Naomi. Ruth positions herself. She's she's. I mean, the blessing of God begins with the death of their husband. I mean, who would write that in the promises book? They go to Bethlehem, and here's Ruth. She's not developing a foul attitude. She's going to go out gleaning. This is humiliating, humbling peasant work, back-breaking work. You're picking up the broken pieces that, that the harvesters are leaving behind. And she crosses over into the field of Boaz. And God positions her. Right there. Said, so I did all this for this moment. Right here. And Boaz looks at her. Says, who is that? So that's, that's Ruth. The Moabite. And he's like, Bam. <laughs> <laughs> He goes up to her. Hey. Okay. <laughs> what's, what's your style? <laughs> and he's like, and he, and he, I mean, I mean, he's uh, no, 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 there's no, there's, there's no. Where, where are you going to clean tomorrow? Well, I'm like, no, no, there's no need to. So, <laughs> I, I, and and I've, I've given the men instructions to, to, to. Uh, to, you can drink from their water. I've given them instructions. They're not to hurt you. You're, 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 you're. <laughs> Down the road, we know the story. They get married. Yeah. And, and they have a baby. And here, and she's sitting there holding King David's grandfather. She's in the lineage of Jesus Christ, this Moabite woman, that, that the blessing of God begins when her husband dies. How many would have quit right there? Developed a foul attitude. Remember, Orba turned back. <coughs> you wonder what God wanted to do in Orba's life. But she turned back. What if David had developed an attitude and said, you know what, you know, when Potiphar, you know, you know, uh, you know, she makes the moves on him, you know, eh, you know, eh, I love you a long time, you know. <laughs> He's like, you know what? <clears throat> Why not? Look what God's done to me. <laughs> but he didn't. He said, no, I, 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 I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. And God positions him. Paul and Silas. What if Paul and Silas are sitting in prison and went, Well, thank you, God. Thank you very much. Why don't I break my teeth out? <laughs> Instead, what does Paul say? Let's praise God. Let's praise God. And God goes, Yeah, that's what I'm waiting for right there. And the earthquake, the doors, the jailer, he's going to kill himself. I mean, and, and I mean, where else in the Bible does a guy follow his false to his knees and go, what must I do to be saved? All, and it all began with getting arrested and beat. Would you have praised God in jail? Would you have praised God after you got your back split open? And the whole time God's positioning him. God uses the setbacks of life yes, to position you. If I get as I close, there's people here tonight that you you've been wrestling with this man. You've been wrestling with this. You're tormented by this. That that you're you're in your mind you're going. Me. 
He hates me. God is, he's, he's judging me. He's, he's punishing me. Listen, can I say something? That's not the God we serve. That's not the God we serve. God doesn't do that. Even when he brings correction, he tells you why. He explains to you, right? Could it be possibly that God's positioning you, man? He's positioning you. I've got to put you here because I'm taking you here. But if you're here, you're going to miss it. 